All right, cool. Well, I'm hanging out in my garage, listening to some tunes and hacking around with my truck. Um, this is my truck, so I don't need permission to hack with it. Uh, it's a Ford F-150, uh, 2015 model. Now, the key fobs on these, uh, use a rolling cold security. Uh, every key press of this, it sends the ID plus another code that's incremented to some algorithm every time. Uh, as long as the truck here is one that's more than the last one, advanced than the last sequence, it will unlock the door. It, if it has playback protection, to where if it hears a code that's previously unlocked the door, after it's received one that's been advanced in the sequence, it will lock that remote out. It won't recognize this remote anymore. So I can create a denial of service to this by doing that. Like, so this can this little uh, gizmo, the Flipper Zero, uh, has a sub gigahertz transceiver on it. It can read and play back 300 to 900 megahertz uh, radio signals. Uh, it can recognize uh, various actual protocols for some uh, commercial remotes out there that you can actually program into this thing. And I bet it can read raw ones that it doesn't recognize uh, as long as you know the AM or FM encoding of the device and the frequency range, of course. You can find that by looking up the SEC ID. Uh, this thing also has a little frequency scanner that you can press a, a, a fob button and it'll tell you what frequency it's being transmitted. Okay, so let's create a denial of service to my truck. So I've got sub gigahertz. We're going to read this, read raw. But before we do that, let's make sure that this works, period. Okay, All right, lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Now I'm gonna lock the door. It's verified it's locked, and it is locked. Okay, now, at the same time, I need to configure this for the right frequency, 315, All right, 315 megahertz. Now, it creates this, gives you this nice little graph, this little frequency range, in the signal strength that it receives. Well, it's recording, it's really pretty cool. So now I'm gonna unlock this and record that same sequence as I unlock it. Make sure we're on 315, yeah, we're good. See, and there's that sequence right there, it recorded. I'm not sure how wide this band is, but that's like three, 315 plus or so a little bit. It's doing a little frequency hopping stuff in there. Okay. So now the truck should be unlocked, and it is. Then I'm gonna lock it back and unlock it one more time. Unlock it so it'll advance the sequence. Now to advance the sequence past this one. So I'm gonna lock it again, double check, verify. All right, it's locked again. So now I'm gonna play this sequence back. I don't need to, to save it to play it back. So I'm just gonna send it a couple of times just to make sure it reads havoc. It's seen the sequence several times now. Now, it should, yeah. I've effectively denial of service the remote. This one, at least. So, now, don't worry. I've got the second remote. Now, I've recorded a series of sequences from this one earlier. When it's in this lockout mode, it will accept any other remote that it recognizes with the rolling code in any sequence. So I've recorded, I'm gonna to toss what I've done here. I'm gonna bring up one I've saved. It's an unlock to my truck. And there it is. I saved that signal for previous. And hopefully if this works right, it's gonna unlock my truck. I'm gonna send it. And it just unlocked my truck. There you go. The Flipper Zero just unlocked the door on my truck. Okay, a lot of steps to get there. Is this a valid tech vector? No, because I have to have both the remotes to do it. So if I have remotes, I don't really need this, right? Now, one practical use for this would be if you're out with some buddies, you've been drinking, you know, and they got this kind of truck that does this, uh, and you take the remote, you rig it where you can do denial of service on it, hey, they can't drive, right? So that's one practical purpose. 
uh, you, you're not going to use this to break into to vehicles nowadays. Uh, the security on some of them is even more sophisticated than this. Uh, some older cars, they were very simple. It just transmitted an ID that matched the computer. Very easy to break into. Um, those days are in the past. So uh, I think you can feel safe that no one's going to use the Flipper Zero to break into your car.